So I want to talk about just change real quick, because sometimes change can be good, sometimes it can be bad, but we all kind of have an opinion on it, and we all don't seem to love it all the time, or at least to the extent maybe we should. I have a long script here, I'm going to reference this, because there's no way I'm going to remember this, but I think it's important to say. So I made a big decision about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago, to take my life where it was at, the nice comfortable little spot I had going on there, and move it again back to Charleston where I was originally living when I started this channel prior to like the video on the screen here. When this video was posted, this is the last video I posted while I lived in Charleston. And if I'm honest, as excited as I was to move back because I really like this place um, and I didn't choose originally to leave by my choice, um, I'm also, and I was, not anymore, a bit hesitant, a bit nervous if you would, uh, to make that decision, to make that move, to make that change in life. Again, because I was in a comfortable, nice spot that I really enjoyed, and I had my routine, I had my system. I was making two videos a week on this channel, you know, that whole thing. But I knew, I think, somewhere in me that I needed to take this move, this change, to improve and further my, my, my journey here, my life, whatever, this channel. Um, not just this channel, but my life itself, and so I did it. I, I, I moved. Here I am. This is not Florida anymore. I have a new place. Very dedicated studio section of my place that I'm currently building which is why I'm in a park instead of in there and like I said this is where I used to live this is where I used to make all the videos for the channel and there's a lot of videos that you recognize in this park itself if you go back on the channel to some older ones um, but, I, but I moved I have a nice place now I have a dedicated studio in my place I, I needed to take this move in order to improve the channel improve my life and a lot of other things and when I moved to Florida and I left Charleston I made a decision that honestly changed this entire channel and my life itself and, and that decision was to take the time I was given, the time I didn't have prior to moving. And as you guys know and as why most of you were here, I decided to do just that. I started posting videos very, very frequently, two a week at this point. And in this year alone, we've done 20,000 subscribers, over a million views, and at least comparing that to my old channel that I ran for about eight years, I've doubled my subscriber count and done half as many views in seven months versus eight years. So I, we're winning here, we're doing good. But really that decision I made back in October to post one video, which is the Bloom video on this channel, really changed everything for me. And I think the reason I'm saying this is because if I didn't have that change that forced me to move, then I wouldn't have been here where I am today, which is how everything in life goes. But the acknowledgement of it, the fact that I recognized that and was able to utilize you know, you can call it change, you can call it opportunity, but utilize what I was given and where I was put, I think truly has helped and changed my life in a way that I would never would have expected. And, and my, my overarching point here is just when you have an opportunity and you're faced with change, sometimes it might suck. But if you learn to look at it in a way that will obviously be more constructive and helpful, then I think, and I think that you'll be on the right path to hopefully, uh, a better future, better life, whatever word you want to call it. Um, accepting change is sometimes just a part of life. You don't have to like it, but accepting it and accepting it for what it is, I think in the long run is going to be better, beneficial, and helpful for your life. I know it has been mine. Now to close this out, I named this video How I Make Over Six Figures a Year with this small YouTube channel or something along those lines. And you're probably like, okay, this guy's full of shit. Um, now, truthfully, that is a slight exaggeration, but a slight only a little bit because truthfully, without this channel, the opportunities I've had come my way in terms of brand deals or the actual AdSense from views, which is not a lot for AdSense, but the brand deals and the clients that I've gotten through my own, you know, video editing, video film business, if you would, um, because folks saw this channel, because they saw and met me and then I told them, hey, I have this YouTube channel and they went and looked at it and saw not only, I think, the perseverance that I've had through this channel when it's not doing well, when it's doing well, and I kept making videos and the consistency there, but also the quality of the videos, the the fact that I put it out there. And I think my point I'm trying to make here is like, you never quite know who's gonna see your stuff. You never know what people are gonna think of it. But the only way you can know for sure if someone's gonna like it is if you keep making videos anyways. Because one, the more videos you make, the more you improve. But also, if you have a hell of a lot of videos, at least, at the very least, even if they're not great, it shows people that you're willing to do what it takes, that you're consistent, that you follow through with your word and your goals, and, and that there actually is something substantial of value there. 
but really the big money maker, the, the part that's closer to the six figures that we was talking about is the job that I was able to land because of this channel, um, exclusively speaking, you know, I have normal jobs. I do a normal job as well. And that normal job only was given to me, told to me by the person that hired me because they saw my YouTube channel, liked it. They saw the skill sets I could bring. Obviously I'm teaching videos here, but the point is they, they saw the channel and they're like, that's why we hired you. You know, there's some, sure there's some other things, but it was a big reason. And if I didn't have the channel, if I wasn't put into the situation where I had to move and then I decided to start this and take the opportunity that I was given to do something with it, would I be here? Probably not. So, grain of salt, whatever wording you want to go for, um, sometimes you, you just got to start. So if you're looking to start a YouTube channel and you're trying to do something different or you want to at least, at the very least, post a video, learn how to edit videos, um, just start doing it. You don't need this channel that teaches you how to film and make stuff. You don't need me to teach you how to do it. You just need to look good. It just needs to be out there. You just need to make more. And really, at the end of the day, that's all it is. Um, because again, the more you make, the better you can be. The better you can be, I mean, obviously, the more opportunities that you can get. So that's, uh, that's kind of how this channel has done something for me. That's kind of my perspective on change. Now, we're at 20,000 subscribers right now. I'm extremely humbled by the fact that 20,000 people, 20,000 of you guys decided to press the button on my screen here and, and actually watch more of my videos or at least one of the videos got you to do that and you really enjoyed it. So I, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for the past year on this channel, you know, of real videos, not even past seven months. Um, and overall, I just want to leave you with two things and I'll, I'll be out of your hair. One, just stay consistent. No matter what it is, no matter how shit your videos might be, post. And then two, accept nothing but the absolute fucking best from yourself and from your work. You can post shit work, but don't be happy with shit work. I think the only reason I'm continuing to make videos after so long, especially when you look back at my old videos and I'm like, wow, how bad were those? Is that no matter what, I won't give up until I'm the absolute best in my fucking field. And you, you, you know what? I probably never will be, but if I think like that, where would I be? So. Strive to be the best in your field. Stay humble, but also work really hard and stay consistent. That's my piece of advice. That's all I have to say. Uh, again, thanks for 20,000 subscribers. It's pretty wild. And otherwise, I'll see you guys uh, soon. I hope this helps your perspective on change a little bit. It's a really nice day. It's really hot, but it's really nice.